My name is Stafford Timpont, I'm from Belgium, but now I train full time at Prana Jiu Jitsu Academy in Stockholm. Hi, I'm Eric Freiberg, I train at Prana Jiu Jitsu, and I'm from Sweden. Today we're going to show you a basic gi choke, and it's going to be the double collar choke from the back. My buddy Eric is going to explain this choke for you guys. Okay, so first thing first, I'm going to get the seat belt, and from here, I'm going to open up the lapel and grab some opening here and grab it, okay? The other hand is going to grab below my other hand. So this, this one can, it's not so important. This is the, the one that has to be tight. So I can actually grab a bit lower with this one, okay? From here, I'm going to take out my hook and put it on the floor. And then my other leg is going to go over the, his belly. So I'm turning to the side. And from here, I'm going to trap his arm here. And now I'm going to OK, so seat belt. I'm opening up the lapel. Grabbing here, and then I'm gonna grab the other one a bit below. There, I put the foot on the mat, and I get my other hook over his belly. And now I'm gonna trap his arm, and I'm gonna squeeze. I'm actually trying to put my shoulder or bicep on, his, on the back of his head. While I'm, while I'm squeezing. There. The nice thing about this choke is that it's very low risk. Because once you have your grips, there's no reason to let go of them at all. So even if you fail, it's going to be very easy to get back to the, to the back. Some people do this choke without releasing the other hook, which is both possible. When you get the choke, and for some reason you feel like you don't have enough leverage to finish it, you can easily switch up your choke to a bow and arrow choke. And for this you just switch the hand, you just switch the hand that's not on the close collar to, to the pads. I can show you right now. So you do exactly the same, boom, boom, you get the two grips, you, get, you, get the, you put the legs on the ground or you try to go for a choke. But some people are very tough and it's going to be hard to finish. So if we want to use more of the energy that's in our body, we're going to switch our grip to here. So now we can use our full body to choke the guy. So we're going to trap like this, pull, and finish the choke like this. So it's a very nice setup for the bow and arrow choke as well. Thank you guys for watching and I hope I will, I will see you again. Oh,